Over 10 years ago, we had more customers that cared less about the filter's performance over temperature than we do today. There's a lot of reasons for that, but I believe one of the main impacts to that is the fact that customers are constantly shrinking the overall size of their package. Whether it's because of the other active devices are getting smaller, whether it's because they're put together much better multi-layer board materials than they used to in the past, multi-layer construction of boards. At the end of the day, the density of the overall electrical components continues to get tighter and the temperature rise with inside of a package continues to rise, which makes it more and more difficult for our customers to get away with using non-temp stable dielectrics for bandpass filter applications and deal with those performance degradations. So utilizing a temperature stable dielectric gives you the best of both worlds. You no longer have to worry about what the temperature climate is inside the box or how the ambient temperature outside of the package affects the internal temperatures on those bandpass filters. So many of your other products out there that you're utilizing have a frequency of range that they work in or a temperature range that doesn't matter, it's not as critical. But at the end of the day, if you're buying a high pull count filter, high selective filter, you're looking for that performance to work no matter what the temperature is inside of the package. Your design engineers don't wanna to have to worry about whether or not they received 85 degrees C ambient temperature inside of their package or whether it ended up being 35 degrees C or higher. Now they don't have to worry about that.